Is it narrowed down to A, B, and C? Somewhat, yeah. We have a, we have a few options available. So Will the weather dictate? It should. Probably not. No, it no. won't. I mean, I have a short walk from here. My dorm okay. is pretty close, so I think I'll be okay. Weather not uh, an influence. Uh, Thursday, Macy and I will be right here. It'll be E3, Sanford against UAB in the Crosstown rivalry, and she will make her TV debut. The Marin family, will they be uh, tuned in on the uh, app? They pretty good, be, pretty yes. good chance, right? My dad's been listening on radio, so what does he I, think? Think, I think he thinks he's pretty good. He likes yeah. you so far. So. Well, he's a smart <laughs> man. I can tell already. <laughs> All right, Mace, we'll hear from you in a little while as we get ready for what should be an outstanding matchup. Sanford against Belmont. Separated by about three and a half hours on Highway 65. Very similar schools in terms of the academics and the athletes. Coach Mike Morris told me they recruit most of the same kids and the same thing with the Belmont people. In fact, truth be said, Samantha Fitzgerald actually committed to Belmont and then wound up here at Sanford. She had an oral commitment, and then when it came to signing day, came down enjoyed her visit here and signed with Sanford. That is Samantha Fitzgerald. She was our guest on the postgame show. Sanford in the first half will be wearing their white, blue and red trim on the shorts and moving from radio left to radio right. Belmont, same color scheme, red, white, and blue, but a dark blue uni, red and white on their shorts and a little Bruin as well. They can play, they like to score. In their last game, Belmont 87 points. And they like to shoot from outside. Ellen Riggins will jump against Sally McCabe. Riggins, a six footer, will give up three inches to McCabe. Both girls from Tennessee, Ellen from Murfreesboro and McCabe is from Mount Juliet. Our officials for tonight, Dawn Marsh. Kylie Galloway and Kristen Jones. Riggins and McCabe will jump momentarily. Ball up, tip one by Belmont. Here come the Bruins right to left. Darby Maggard, their five foot five preseason all conference guard with the ball. Up top, Lauren Thompson. Jenny Roy makes a move and is met with some pressure and a whistle. Early foul on Sanford. Samantha Fitzgerald on the violation. 14 seconds has gone by, no score, first quarter. Long lob to Jenny Roy, five foot 11 sophomore. Top of the key, Lauren Thompson on the wing. Maggard going down low, McCabe has a shot, it's no good, comes off, she gets a rebound, shoots again, no good. Third opportunity, McCabe puts it home. Three chances, three shots for McCabe. She's able to cash in. 2-0, Belmont over Sanford. Brittany Stevens above the arc. Charity Brown and now Ellen Riggins, guarded by McCabe. Hand off to Fitzgerald. Goes to Stevens, spin move on Maggard. She's got her and she shoots, it's off the rim. Right side rebound by Darby Maggard. And then Mar Maggard trying to hit the wing player, Kylie Smith. The ball was knocked out of bounds by Cassidy Blevins. Belmont two, Sanford nothing, 8.56 remaining, opening quarter. Belmont with the basketball. Maggard a long three from the wing, no good. Rebound Fitzgerald for Sanford. Darby Maggard 
30 threes made this year. That was a miss. Charity Brown for Sanford. Two-handed pass to Brittany Stevens. Riggins on the baseline, not there. Blevins. Stevens. Blevins above the arc. Gets a pick. Holds on to it. She got to let it fly soon. Here's Riggins at two. At one, long three by Blevins. Off to the left side. Rebound Belmont and Kylie Smith. Smith on the wing, trying to go inside to McCabe. She does, she shoots, she scores. Six foot three, McCabe over Riggins. Good lead pass. Two minutes gone by, Belmont four, Sanford nothing. Cassidy Blevins will dribble. Bounce pass to Ellen Riggins. Blevins. Heads towards the hoop, gives it up to Riggins, fakes the three. Outside, Charity Brown. Brown on the travel. Turnover, Sanford. Belmont with a 4-0 lead and the basketball. 7.40 remaining opening quarter. Maggard at 5'5", five five, guarded by a 5'3", Stevens. Thompson. Jenny Roy on the wing. We got a whistle down low. Three in the key on Belmont. So the turnover gives the ball back to Sanford. Sanford 0 for 2 early on. Trailing 4 0. Fitzgerald bounce pass to Riggins. Riggins goes baseline on McCabe, shoots. McCabe blocks it. Riggins gets it back, fires it to Brown. Three pointer baseline off the rim, no good. Rebound Belmont. Lauren Thompson on the board, up to Maggard. Maggard, a three, and she gives it to Lauren Thompson, who hits the home run at the top of the key. Six-nothing lead for Belmont. That was a two, not a three. Two for Lauren Thompson. She had one foot on the line. Six-nothing, Belmont in front of Sanford. Charity Brown, Ellen Riggins. Cassidy Blevins, a three from the wing. That's short. Rebound, Belmont's McCabe. 6.37 remaining. Opening quarter, Sanford trails. Here's a long three, top of the key, off and rebounded from underneath. Shot by Roy, won't fall, and then a rebound draws a whistle. And a foul this time, offensive foul on Belmont. Foul is on Jenny Roy. Hannah Nichols coming in for Ellen Riggins. And Olivia Crozier is in as well for Cassidy Blevins. Two in, two out. Bounce pass intended for Fitzgerald. She gets it. She shoots. And I think someone got a hand on it. Got deflected. She missed it. Here's Maggard to the wing. Three-pointer left side comes up short. Sanford's got the board. That's Crozier. Over to Stevens. Stevens in the front court. Free throw line. Crozier sets a pick for Hannah Nichols. Nichols, the left-hander, looking for help. Bounce pass, Charity Brown. Brown, long two coming up. Got it. Charity Brown. Six to two. Belmont in front of Sanford by four. 546. Now a long wing three-pointer. No good. Rebound for Thompson. Maggard sets a three and she shoots and scores. And that'll be a timeout called by Coach Morris. So Maggard drains a three. It'll be a full timeout. And for Belmont, they lead Sanford 9-2, 5.37 remaining opening quarter. This is Sanford Bulldog basketball. From asphalt to velvet. Discovering new things is good. For example, you may discover that the best bank in town isn't a bank.
Welcome back. This Saturday, head coach Scott Padgett and his Sanford men are back here in the Pete Hanna Center for a matchup against the Golden Bears of Miles College. Tip-off is set for 6 p.m. and tickets are available online at SanfordSports.com slash tickets. Thank you, Macy. That game will be on E3 as well as being on radio. Sanford trailing 9-2. 525 remaining in the opening quarter. Jump shot by Fitzgerald. Rims in and out. Crozier snags the rebound in a, uh, a plethora of Bruins. It was one on four, and Olivia Crozier able to snag the rebound. Hannah Nichols on the left wing. Charity Brown. Top of the key, Crozier. Bounce pass not there. Hand off Stevens. Stevens, free throw line. Goes inside the paint. Shoots an off-balance layup. Comes off. Rebound McCabe. McCabe, hand off far side to Maggard. Maggard gets it back, a give and go, long three from the wing, that's off the rim, and there's some height in there, so a rebound for Kylie Smith. Smith, a transfer out of Vandy. Lauren Thompson at the top. On the wing, Jenny Roy, whistle, down goes a Belmont player, and it will be a foul on Sanford. Olivia Crozier says it's on me, let's see if the referees agree. It is. Crozier was not lying. Belmont on the inbounds. Kylie Smith. Smith above the arc on the wing. Ball movement around. Maggart, the point guard, gives up the dribble. Passes to the wing. Baseline jump shot is good. Lauren Thompson with four points in the game. Her father is here, Tim, who played at Vanderbilt and now does radio for the Commodores. Meanwhile, Belmont 11-2 over Sanford. 4.05 remaining in the opening quarter. Blevins to Crozier and back to Blevins. Back to Blevins again, give and go with Fitzgerald. Shot clock at 7. Fitzgerald makes the move, hits the paint. Out it goes, Stevens, a three from the baseline. Got it! Brittany Stevens with her first three of the year. Eleven to five, Belmont in front by six. Opening quarter, 3.33 to go. The Bruins with the ball, Jenny Roy cut off. Now Lauren Thompson, Maggart, Maggart. Outside the paint, McCabe on the wing, making her move is Roy. Cut off by Nichols, shoots a wild layup, no good. Gets her own rebound, draws a whistle, and it's a shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. <sighs> Three minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Maddie Wright will come in, and Sally McKay will sit. Sanford down by six, 3-10 remaining in the opening quarter. Hannah Nichols on the dribble, finds Cassidy Blevins. Back to Nichols on the give and go. Jump shot, free throw line, comes up short. Rebound for the Bruins. Maggart will look to run the floor. Stevens guarding her. Above the arc, where the action takes place, right near the Samford logo. On the wing, now back to the top for Lauren Thompson. Bounce pass to Jenny Roy. Roy finds Smith. Smith dribbles left side, long layup, no good. Rebound, however, for Belmont. Wild off-balance shot put up and in by Lauren Thompson. And right now, the offensive boards of Belmont making a difference in the game. I've got 14 total rebounds in this quarter. Stevens bounce passes to Nichols on the baseline, makes her move, shoots with the left, and it will roll out. Rebound for Lauren Thompson. 13 to five, Belmont in front by eight. Two minutes, five seconds remaining opening quarter. Maggart gets a pick. Thompson at the top to the wing player, Smith. Roy on the wing. Here's a three by Maggard from the baseline. Hits the home run. Darby Maggard, her 32nd and her second of the game. 32nd of the year, two in the game for Maggard. And Belmont has a 16-5 first quarter lead. 
138 remaining opening quarter. Olivia Crozier, bounce pass towards Fitzgerald, knocked out of bounds, and apparently off of Fitzgerald. One thirty remaining. Sanford just two out of twelve from the floor. Belmont seven for sixteen. Fifteen to five in the rebounding department. Belmont over Sanford. One twenty-five remaining in the opening quarter. Maggard, a preseason All-Conference player, takes a long two. Rebound, Brittany Stevens. One on three for Stevens. Tries to go all the way. The layup hits the rim, comes out. Maggard on the rebound. Darby Maggard from Larwell, Indiana. Last season, freshman of the year in the OVC. Under a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Making a move to the hole. Trying to finish. Was Maddie Wright and she got fouled by Crozier. Or no. It was on Belmont, offensive foul, called on Maddie Wright. 16 to five, Belmont in front of Sanford, 51 seconds remaining in the quarter. Nichols on the wing, Cassidy Williams, middle of the court, now Charity Brown, down low, Riggins. Riggins gets closer to the baseline, tries to reverse, she was pushed from behind. That'll be the second foul on Maddie Wright. Sanford ball out of bounds. Blevins, 36 to go in the first quarter. Blevins gets a layup, and it comes off the rim. A rare miss for Blevins from inside. 20 seconds to go, 28 rather, in the half, uh, quarter. And now 20 on the shot clock. Paris Lawson. Maggard at the wing. Frankie Jabron got her hand on it. Jabron went to the rim, pushed out of bounds. It's Belmont basketball, nine to shoot, 11.9 in the quarter. Belmont 16, Sanford five. Lob to Paris Lawson. Lawson goes down low, shot, missed by Sierra Jones, but she got fouled. And Jones with 7.7 .7 seconds will head to the free throw line. Foul was on Riggins. Sanford down 16 to 5. First of two free throws is good by Sierra Jones, Lydia McGee's teammate at Madison Academy. Jones with another free throw due up in the air, and the righty hits. 18 to 5. Belmont leads Sanford. Five seconds in the quarter. Riggins over to Williams. Williams will drive all the way with the left. That comes off the rim. And Sanford with yet another miss. And at the end of one, Belmont with a convincing 18 to 5 lead here at the Hanna Center. We'll take a timeout. This is Sanford Bulldog basketball. This is Lauren. These are her first roommates, her first car, and her very first health insurance plan, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. Even at her age, she's not taking her health for granted. Her affordable health plan includes a routine annual checkup, apps, and programs that fit her lifestyle. Lauren may be just starting out, but with us, she's already got peace of mind. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. Find out how we can cover you for the first time. CB along with you with 
Macy Marin to my side, to my right. What you got, Mace? Mike Morris and his Sanford's women's basketball team are back at home again here in the Hanna Center on Thursday. They will be renewing their crosstown rivalry with UAB, and tip-off will be happening at 6 p.m. on Thursday night. Tickets at SanfordSports.com are here in the Hanna Center box office. If you can't make it, I believe we'll be on ESPN3 we and the yep. radio. Yep. Well, we won't be on radio. We're going to move over to uh, television. So we're talking about your outfit. I'll be uh, working on one <laughs> tomorrow. But I, I'm one of those guys. I am one of those guys really? that I pick my clothes out the night before. There's no day of what am I wearing. That's oh, no. smart. No. I have a reputation. <laughs> Sanford Trails, 18-5 after one quarter. Sanford with the basketball. They shot two for 15 in that opening quarter. Cassidy Blevins above the arc. 15 seconds gone by second quarter. Sanford trails 18 to five. This is Blevins, a kick out. Brown, whistle on the move. Basket negated. And that tells me to be an offensive foul on Cassidy Blevins. Belmont in front, big, 18 to five. 9.30 remaining opening quarter. Maggard's pass hits Paris Lawson. Lawson goes to the rim and she is rejected by Nichols. Two-handed lead pass up for Charity Brown. Brown still dribbles, still dribbles. She went in, now kicks out. 9.10 remaining in the second quarter. Hannah Nichols gives up the dribble of Charity Brown. Ellen Riggins fakes the three, goes to the left side, layup. Rejected, but a foul, foul on McCabe, Sally McCabe. So Ellen Riggins will go to the free throw line where this year she has made 15 of 18. Two coming for the Tennessee native. First of two is good. from one of the real powerhouse high schools in Tennessee called Oakland High. Paris Lawson went to Oakland High. The two did not overlap. Second one by Riggins, good. 18-7, Belmont over Sanford. Second quarter, two minutes gone by. Maggard finding Roy, Roy. Left side, layup attempt is good. Jenny Roy with a two-pointer. 20 to seven, Belmont in front of Sanford. In the second quarter, Charity Brown at the top of the key, bounce pass for Riggins. Riggins to Blevins. Blevins to the rack, off the board, comes out. No good. On the run, Belmont. Jenny Roy. Roy guarded by Williams. Good defense by Williams. Roy tied up. Now finds a player underneath. Shot, basket, foul. Lauren Thompson squeaked around Hannah Nichols and able to not only get the two, and Nichols fouled her as well. Belmont with a 22 to seven lead. Second quarter action, 8.07 to go. That free throw is good by Thompson. Lauren Thompson, nine first half points already. Brittany Stevens directing the offense for Sanford. Riggins. Above the free throw line, over to Stevens. Stevens has a layup opportunity, shoots and uses the backboard to score two. Stevens with five in the game. Sanford trails 23 to nine. 740 remaining, second quarter. Maggard gives up the dribble. Ball fake Kylie Smith, back to Thompson. Roy, almost off her hands, retrieves it. Shot clock at nine. They go down low on the block. McCabe, turnaround, running one-hander is good. 
Sally McCabe with six. 25 to nine, Belmont over Sanford. 7-14 remaining, second quarter. Brittany Stevens for Sanford. To the paint, layup, yes, and a foul. Stevens able to finish and get the foul. Darby Maggard on the foul. Seven oh five to go, second quarter. Belmont in front of Sanford, twenty-five to eleven. Trying to finish the three-point play. Stevens free throw up and good. Eight in the game for Stevens. Seven oh three to go. Second quarter. Maggard over the timeline. Roy above the arc, guarded by Nichols. On the wing, Smith. Smith with the dribble, try to pass back. Good defense made by Blevins. Blevins got her hand on the pass. Turnover, Sanford has it. Stevens to Fitzgerald. Back to Blevins. Blevins to the paint, free throw line out to Stevens. Bounce pass on the baseline, Riggin. She'll take the long two, and it goes in. Belmont 25, Sanford 14. 6.15 to go, third quarter. Second quarter, rather. Why not a three from the top? And it is good by McCabe. Nine in the game for McCabe. She launches a three. Right in the middle of the court. 14-point lead for Belmont here in the half. Give and go, Nichols tries to finish, and the pressure by McCabe on the block. Kylie Smith over to Roy. Roy running baseline, out it comes. Maggart, Smith, a long three from the wing, no good. Rebound for Jenny Roy of Belmont. Maggart behind her back, gets a pick. Stevens fights through the pick. Roy with a ball fake to the left side. Kylie Smith back to McCabe, down low, turn around with the left, and she hits. McCabe with 11. And a Belmont lead of 30 to 14. Five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. Riggins handoff to Blevins. Blevins above the arc. Stevens on the baseline. Riggins fakes one way, shoots the other way. Ball goes high off the backboard, draws a whistle, and it looks like a foul on McCabe, which would be her second. And we'll get an official timeout. When we come back, Macy Marin will help us find out what's going on at the half, including the halftime interview with Brad Radisi. 30 to 14, Belmont in front. This is Sanford Bulldog basketball. At Express Oil Change and Tire Engineers, we believe in service. Maintenance service, tire service, repair service. And most importantly, customer service. We believe in treating our customers with respect and integrity while offering all the services you need for your car. Most of all, at Express Oil Change and Tire Engineers, we believe in keeping cars on the road, keeping families safe, and keeping you coming back whenever the need arises.
Coming up at the half, our Alabama Power Halftime Show, we'll check in with all the games across the country in our Papa John scoreboard update. And our Bulldog Conversation features Brad Radisi with special guest Elizabeth Cease discussing the Legacy League Christmas Home Tour. All that and more coming up on the Alabama Power Halftime Show presented by Alabama Power. Belmont 30, Sanford 14, second quarter. Sanford from the floor, 5 out of 20. Meanwhile, Belmont, 12 for 25. They're at 48%. The rebounding differential, 21 to 7, Belmont. Ellen Riggins, free throw line. First of two is good. She has five points. Three at the charity stripe. Second is up and good. Riggins has six. Sanford down by 14 points. 444 remaining in the second quarter. Again, Belmont out rebounding Sanford 21 to 7. Belmont has pulled down eight offensive rebounds. Roy to Thompson. Maggard, long three at the wing, off the rim, rebound. Fitzgerald of Sanford. 420 remaining. Second quarter, Stevens, Fitzgerald, and now Nichols. Blevins at the top of the key. Fitzgerald on the wing. Ball fake goes to the left. Pulls up, gives it to Cassidy Blevins. Brittany Stevens, bounce pass low. Fitzgerald on the baseline, makes her move. There is a whistle. And she stepped out of bounds. Under four remaining in the second quarter, and the visiting Belmont Bruins with a 14-point lead. Sanford suffered only two losses last year at home. Harvard and Mercer. Frankie Jabra now out to the wing, a, a banked in three. Kylie Smith took the shot from the wing and banked it in, a three-pointer. And Belmont leads Sanford 33 to 16. Belmont, by the way, a 2-3 zone, and then they'll sink into a man-to-man, -man, but they start in a 2-3. On the wing, Stevens. Bounce pass to Riggins. Riggins fakes, moves in. Passes got deflected, but Blevins has it. Now Stevens. Spin move at six. Finding a wide open Riggins. Jump shot, yes, from about 12 feet. Good ball movement. Riggins with eight points in the game. Stevens has eight. The two girls right there have 16 of the 18 Sanford points. On the wing, Kylie Smith. And now Jabron feeds the cutter. Lauren Thompson, Lauren Thompson got fouled. Foul drawn by Hannah Nichols. That'll be her second. First of two is in and out. <laughs> Lauren Thompson. That's her first miss at the line this year. She was six for six. Coach Morris looking for some combination that will work. Nichols now sits. Brown back in. Thompson hits a free throw. Ten points in the game. Sanford on offense, trails by 16, 34-18. 2.38 remaining in the, in the quarter. Brittany Stevens finds Ellen Riggins. Riggins hands off to Stevens. Above the arc to Blevins. Charity Brown above the arc, near the middle of the court. Stevens inside the paint, layup from the left side, won't fall. Rebound. Jabron up to Smith and now Maggard. Jabron sets the pick. Ellie Harmeyer running the floor. Traveling is Kylie Smith after the pass to Harmeyer from uh, Harmeyer. Sanford down by 16, less than two minutes remaining in the quarter. 
Charity Brown, a three from the left wing. Hits the back of the rim, no good. In for Stevens, the rebound, and Brittany will finish from the left side. She got lucky. Ten points in the game for Stevens. That's her season high. 14-point deficit. Belmont in front, 34-20. Ellie Harmeyer. Harmeyer long three, and she sinks it. She's got a sister on the team. Hannah Harmeyer. Pass from Blevins kicked by Roy. 112 remaining in the opening half, second quarter. And Belmont leads by 17 points. 37 to 20, Stevens in the paint, outside. Three for Riggins, up and in. Ellen Riggins right at the top of the key. Riggins with 11, hits the home runner, fourth of the year. Sanford down by 14. Lawson, Jabron, handoff, Smith. Smith takes it on the right wing. Shot clock at eight, a three going up, comes out. Rebound, Jabron in traffic, makes her move to the left side and able to finish. Jabron from Detroit, Michigan. 39-23, Belmont in front. 21 seconds to go in the quarter. Ellen Riggins, top of the key at the D in Sanford at the logo. Charity Brown. To Riggins, down goes Lawson. It'll be a foul on Sanford. On Riggins. Six seconds to go. Lawson on the drive to the left side, met by Stevens, and an offensive foul. 2.4 seconds to go. Sanford will inbound it just before the half. Stevens has it. Back to Brown at the midcourt line. And it's high off the backboard. I don't think it would have counted. We have reached halftime at the Hannah Center. Belmont in front, 39 to 23. Our halftime activities, including the Bulldog conversation and the Papa John scoreboard, all that stuff comes your way shortly. This is Sanford basketball. Game day brings out the best in all of us. At Regions, every day is game day. here to educate young people, to acclimate them to the communities that support them, and to uh, get them well versed in what it means to be a good citizen. And that means to give back, uh, to whom much is given, much is required. We may be rivals on the court, but today we're teaming together with Evelyn Charities, the Southern Conference Ingles and Arby's for Hoops Against Hunger. As we battle childhood hunger here at home, you can join us on the team Evelyn and join We've provided over 300,000 meals to, to young people here the last few years. That's awesome. That, that's really what it's all about. So. We are so not basketball for Hoops Against Hunger, and we are Team Edwin.
Discovering new things is good. For example, you may discover that the best bank in town isn't a bank. It's time now for our Bulldog Conversation. I'm Brad Radisi. We're talking about Home for the Holidays, a program near and dear to Sanford's heart. And to give us more details about it is Philip Poole, the Executive Director for University Communication. This will be the 13th year that Sanford has participated in this project. It's actually a partnership between the Birmingham ABC affiliate and Habitat for Humanity, where they engage corporate sponsors to help build a house in the month of December for a deserving family. And Philip, you mentioned we've been involved 13 years. Why is Sanford involved? Well, interestingly, my very first day at Sanford, I was in new employee orientation and I got called out and said that the president needed to see me in his office, which you've got to admit is kind of a scary thing on your very first day of employment. Right. Turns out, uh, we were meeting with the general manager and the sales manager from ABC 3340 here in Birmingham, and they were presenting to us the idea of, of what turned out to be home for the holidays and asking Sanford to be a corporate sponsor. Dr. Quartz very readily agreed to do this, partly because Sanford had a long-standing relationship with Habitat. They'd been building a, a house every year for several years at that point. And so we became one of the very first corporate sponsors. And as it turns out, we're now the only corporate sponsor who has participated every year. And it's because the mission of Habitat and the mission of Sanford very much align and mesh well with each other. And every year we have a lot of students out there, a lot of faculty, a lot of staff on our build day, which was December 3rd, yes. to really make these things and, and get them going and, and get them built in time for Christmas. Absolutely. And uh, because we are very early in the build process, we're getting to do some of the big stuff mm -hmm. like siding and drywall and sheetrock. And I think our folks really enjoy doing that. And there are a lot of folks that have done this every year. Uh, there are always new folks out there, but the camaraderie among the Sanford community that are participating in the project always is one of the great benefits of the day. And this is, and you mentioned it, right aligning with, mm -hmm. with Sanford's mission. It's, we're a, a very community-oriented school. In speaking with people over the, the past 13 years, what do they take away from it when they're, they're building? And, and we see a lot of faces at the dedication. I think one of the great things uh, is just the chance to serve and to do something positive for someone else. Every year we've been had the chance on our build day to meet the family or families that we're building for, and that's always a special moment right. uh, to be able to connect with the people that are going to benefit from the work that we do. And our students particularly always enjoy that interaction and the chance to get to know the family that's going to live in the house that they're helping to build. And we have the dedication coming up, and I know you've been to many of them. There's never a lack of tears or a lack of joy, is there? Oh, absolutely not. And that is actually probably my favorite part of the whole process. When you present a Bible to the families mm -hmm. for their house, their brand new house, that's maybe right. more often than not, their first house. It, in about 99% of the cases, it is their first house. And one of Sanford's traditions as a part of this process has been to present a family Bible to the family uh, for the house that we've built and, and talk about making God the center of your home and making God's Word central to your family. And uh, that's always a special time for us to be able to do that in partnership with Habitat. And lastly, with, with all the homes we've built over the years, not only with Home for the Holidays, but other uh, Habitat projects, what what do you hope the lasting impact is on in, in, for Sanford? Well, obviously, Sanford is a great community partner. We do a lot more than just Habitat. Mm -hmm. But with this particular project, I think it's knowing that we've done something that will help make life better mm -hmm. for a family. And it's a long-term impact. It's not something where we're in and out in a day and, and we're done. We've done something that 30, 40, 50 years from now is going to have impact for the parents, for the children, and, and the rest of their family. 
And Philip said it best, the best part of this is the dedication, when the families are handed keys to their new homes. I'm Brad Radisi, and you've been listening to the Bulldog Conversation.
high school, what exactly did you do? Did you cheer? Did you play sports? I cheered and I played soccer. You pretty good at soccer? I enjoyed it. I traveled. I mean, I would think I was pretty good, but I mean, might need a second opinion on that. Can, but we, go, can we look at the press clippings? <laughs> you can. <laughs> I did play select soccer. Um, nice. It's pretty big in Tennessee, travel soccer and select soccer. So it was cool to see as I grew up how soccer kind of took off and became a way popular sport than it had been. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, our team here on campus, obviously, those girls are very good, the uh, right. SOCON champs. Now, I went to UNC Greensboro, which is a member of the Southern Conference. And that was back in the 80s. But we won five national championships at the D3 level in seven years, three consecutive. And uh, really saw the birth in a basketball state soccer here, the birth of soccer coming off of football. So right, it's, exactly. uh, yeah, it's, it's popular. It's a great sport. When it's played well and played at that high level, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. All right, second half about to begin. Third quarter, a game right now dominated by the Bruins. And they'll go with Darby Maggard. Uh, Maggard. Their point guard, Sally McCabe, post player on the wing. Hand off to Kylie Smith. Smith guarded by Blevins. Maggard on the wing again, Smith. Down low, turn around, shot no good, rebound. Sanford, it's on the floor, picked up by Fitzgerald. Off the McCabe, a miss. Stevens trying to push things to the paint. Jump shot, it's off the rim, rebound by McCabe. 9.20 remaining third quarter. Sanford trails Belmont 39-23. Belmont Bruins out of the OVC. They won 24 games last year. Got to the NCAAs where they lost to Michigan State. Gave them a battle. A ball that's whistled out of bounds off of Belmont. Sanford ball. 9.05 remaining, third quarter. 39-23, Belmont leads Samford. Bounce pass to Riggins. Riggins a strong first half. Charity Brown, Stevens. Over to Riggins on the wing. Cassidy Blevins. Blevins with a ball fake on Roy. Seven to shoot. Now Fitzgerald back to Blevins. Got to go up soon at two. Here's Riggins at one, off the backboard, no rim. Rebound for Smith of the Bruins. Smith finds Roy. McCabe at the top. On the wing, Kylie Smith with the dribble. Over, Blevins shoots, no good, gets her own rebound, puts it up and in with the left, Kylie Smith. From Alpharetta, the girl that transferred from Vanderbilt. Alpharetta, Georgia, hometown. Ridgely went to Vanderbilt, now at Belmont. Same city. Blevins on a hard drive off the back of the rim and then through the cylinder. Her first two points of the game, she's averaging 16. Belmont 41, Sanford 25. A lob for McCabe. She hits the reverse layup. Sally McCabe with her back to the basket. Three inches taller than Riggins and able to put it home. Cassidy Blevins around to Charity Brown. Brown down low to Fitzgerald. It draws a foul on Lauren Thompson. First foul called on Thompson. 43-25, Belmont over Sanford, third quarter, 7.22 remaining. Charity Brown on the wing. Fitzgerald above the arc, free throw line. Now Stevens, Fitzgerald a three from right in the middle. Off the rim, high, rebound McCabe. And now Darby Maggard. Maggard passes to the right wing, down low. And now up high, McCabe tries a three from the middle. It's off Darby. Mag uh, Maggard, and she hits a long three after the good ball movement by Belmont. 43-46, rather, 46-27, Belmont. 5-24 remaining, third quarter. Charity Brown into the paint, out it goes. Stevens, a three, a whistle prior to the shot. 
and they get Brown on the offensive foul. Second foul on Charity Brown. 5-19 remaining. Third quarter, Sanford trails 46-27. Into the game for Belmont. Sierra Jones, bounce pass down low, McCabe, turnaround shot, good. I beg your pardon, that'll be Lauren Thompson. 4.40 or 4.52 remaining, uh, remaining third quarter, Blevins. Stevens above the arc on the wing, goes inside for the layup, no. Hand off Crozier, Crozier, traveled. Timeout on the floor, third quarter. Belmont 48, Sanford 27. Back with more, this is Sanford Bulldog Basketball. The madness begins here. Make sure you're at the U.S. Cellular Center in Asheville, North Carolina, March 2nd through 6th for the 2017 SoCon Basketball Championships presented by General Shale. You don't want to miss the action as your favorite SoCon teams compete for a championship and a berth in the NCAA tournament. Book your travel and tickets by logging on to SoContravel.com or by contacting the U.S. Cellular Center box office. Madness begins here. Get your tickets today. So when does the new pan pizza get here? Any minute, and you're going to love it. What are you doing? Thought I'd be faster if I carried him. I got to return him, though. Save me a slice. Better game days call for better pizza. Introducing our new pan pizza with a thick golden brown crust. Your choice of three toppings, all just for 10 bucks. Add a two liter Pepsi for just $2 more. Better ingredients. Better pizza. Papa John's. Welcome back. And Saturday, Scott Padgett and his Sanford men will be back here and in action at the Pete Hanna Center for a matchup against another in-state rival, the Golden Bears of Miles College. Tip-off is set for 6 p.m. on Saturday. Tickets are available online at SanfordSports.com slash tickets. And if you can't make it in person, catch all the action with video on ESPN3 and radio with Blake Garner on the new home of Sanford men's hoops, 99-1 The Game. I have added that game to my schedule for ESPN3. So it'll be me doing the TV, Blake's got radio. Pretty cool. Sounds what are you good. doing? You doing anything? Or are you just watching? I'll probably be watching that game. Well, that's right. I'll be working back with Hattie. That's right. Okay. I just, <laughs> you know, I get confused with all the broadcasts going on. Right. Sanford Trails. Third quarter. A lob inside. Thompson finishes easy. 14 for Lauren Thompson. And a 50 to 27 lead for the Bruins. Hannah Nichols on the wing. Blevins, Nichols, Nichols got fouled by Roy. Second team foul on Jenny Roy. Blevins finding Fitzgerald. Nichols, and now round to Brittany Stevens. Stevens, by the way, a season high 10 points in the first two quarters. To Nichols, try to get loose for the three, wasn't there. Stevens drives, shoots, and scores a layup and gets fouled. So Stevens with 12 and a visit to the free throw line after the foul on Belmont. Darby Maggard on the foul. So Stevens with a season high 12 points. Trying to make it a three point play and she does. Good free throw shooting, good game for Brittany Stevens. 20 point lead however for the Belmont Bruins. Lob inside Thompson, back outside, a three goes in. 
Jenny Roy hits the baseline homer. She's got five. And any little chance Sanford makes of a run, anything that resembles a run, Belmont able to counter with a three. Olivia Crozier, hand off to, Kelsey, or to uh, Cassidy Blevins. Stevens makes the move on Maggard. And a pass that went past Olivia Crozier. And that'll give us another timeout, our second of the quarter. 3.06 remaining, Sanford trailing 53 to 30. Back with more, this is Sanford Bulldog basketball. Discovering new things is good. For example, you may discover that the best bank in town isn't a bank. A Southern tradition for more than 20 years. Find us online at fullmoonbbq.com. Head coach Mike Morris and his Sanford's women's basketball Bulldogs are back at home here in the Hanna Center again on Thursday for the renewal of our crosstown rival with UAB. The Blazers visit the Bulldogs for a 6 p.m. tip-off on Thursday night. Tickets at SanfordSports.com are here in the Hanna Center box office. And if you can't make it in person, you can always catch it on ESPN3 with CBNI. That's called a promo. I like that. <laughs> uh, coming up for the Ladies of the Lake Shore, you got uh, after UAB, there's breaks for finals. Then Wake Forest and then at your favorite school will be in Athens. So make the road trip, Mace. Make the trip. Show me around Athens. Down low for a shot in the basket. Frankie Gibraltar. When I was in college, Herschel Walker led the dogs to the national championship. Samantha Fitzgerald for Sanford. Sanford trailing 55-30. Fitzgerald driving shot. Blocked by Sally McCabe. Lead pass. And around the horn it goes. Sierra Jones got a touch. Driving to the basket. That draws a foul. Kylie Smith on the offensive. Knocked down Hannah Nichols. My broadcast partner, Macy Marin, grew up in Tennessee. We mentioned that. And fan of the Georgia Bulldogs. Sanford will be playing Georgia. Coming up in a couple of weeks. Shot by Stevens would not have counted. Three seconds in the key called on Sanford. 25-point lead for the Belmont Bruins. Actually, that was an offensive foul on Cassidy Blevins, so not in the key, but instead a foul. Sierra Jones on the baseline, a three-point shot by Paris Lawson, no good. Rebound, Olivia Crozier, 141 remaining third quarter. Sanford down by 25 points. Crozier finding Blevins on the wing. Blevins to the paint. Passes. Nothing there for Fitzgerald. Top of the key, Crozier. Shot clock at 10. Here comes Nichols from the left side. Finishes with a strong layup. Nichols with her first two points of the game. 112 remaining. Third quarter. Kylie Smith on the dribble. Strong to the right side. Shot is too strong. Rebound Olivia Crozier. 60 seconds to go third quarter. 
the Bruins up 55-32. Jump shot free throw line by Steven. She goes down. She's hurt. Blevins went down but gets back up. Stevens limping to get down court, able to get down court, but a shot and a basket for Frankie Gibran on the follow. And now Stevens will come out. Paige Serap, freshman, will come in. Twisted ankle for Stevens. Hannah Nichols for Sanford. Cassidy Blevins. Nichols, the give and go, tries the driving layup. She finishes and gets fouled. Nichols will go to the free throw line with a chance for a three-point play. Left-handed shooter, Hannah Nichols hits this one. She's got five in the game, all in the second half, all in the third quarter. 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. Belmont leads Sanford 57-35. Sierra Jones, long three from the wing. That's off the rim, rebound, Crozier. We've said that a few times recently. 12 seconds to go. Blevins, Crozier at nine. Nichols, a long three from the wing. That comes off. Five seconds to go. Lead pass for Kylie Smith at one at the buzzer. No. Hard contact. No foul. Cameron Neubauer wanted a blocking foul. Won't get it. That'll end the third. 57-35. Belmont leads Sanford. Back with more. This is Sanford Bulldog basketball. This is Lauren. These are her first roommates, her first car, and her very first health insurance plan, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. Even at her age, she's not taking her health for granted. Her affordable health plan includes a routine annual checkup, apps, and programs that fit her lifestyle. Lauren may be just starting out, but with us, she's already got peace of mind. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. Find out how we can cover you for the first time. Sanford trails, uh, trails Belmont after three, 57-35. 14 points for Lauren Thompson of Belmont, 13 for Sally McCabe. For the Bulldogs, it's Stevens with 13, Riggins with 11. Rebounding is going to hurt. That's the one that Coach Morris is going to look at. Out-rebounded 35-14 through three quarters. Right now, Belmont with 14 offensive rebounds. They have as many on the offensive boards as Sanford has total. Belmont got out in front early, 18 to five. They have not looked back. Fourth and final quarter. As we mentioned, the schedule upcoming for Sanford Thursday against UAB. Then a long break for finals. Sanford will not play until Sunday, December 18th at Wake Forest, Thursday, December 22nd at Georgia. We are back live. There's a whistle and a foul on Belmont. Paige Sherrip will do the inbounding to Hannah Nichols. Sierra Jones on the foul. Sherrip from the wing. Crozier, hand off to Nichols. Jump shot above the free throw line. She goes down, turned her ankle as well. Limps gets up, trying to fight it off. That hurts. That's not good. Belmont with the basketball. Kylie Smith, a long pass. Maggard, a three, drills it. Darby Maggard. 
Nichols will come out for Blevins as soon as there's a timeout. So two ankle turns right now for Sanford. Syrup and a whistle. And I, I think the refs are going to help out. Well, there's a foul. So Nichols will come on out. Blevins will come on in. No sign of Brittany Stevens at the moment. Blevins over to uh, Sam Fitzgerald. Out it comes. Paige Syrup, long three, got it. And Paige Syrup with her first three points as a collegiate. Freshman from Edmond, Oklahoma. In the scoring column for Syrup. Kylie Smith. Darby Maggard, Sierra Jones, 60-38. Belmont leads. 8.25 remaining in the fourth quarter. Maggard behind her back. Sierra Jones, three from the wing. It goes in, but shot clock expired. Does not count. Well, there's Stevens, by the way. Brittany Stevens is on the bench. Hannah Nichols behind the bench. Chapel Evans, the team trainer, working on what looks like to be the left lower leg for Hannah Nichols. Two gone by, eight to go, fourth quarter. Belmont leads Sanford 60 to 38. Down low, Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald up high, Crozier. She'll take the three. Spinning shot is in. Olivia Crozier, three-point basket. Foul, front court. It'll be on Sanford. Should go on Serap, and it will be. And there's our official media timeout at 7.49. Hold on. Yeah, 749 official media timeout. Belmont 60, Sanford 41. We'll be back. This is Sanford Bulldog Basketball. At Express Oil Change and Tire Engineers, we believe in service. Maintenance service, tire service, repair service. And most importantly, customer service. We believe in treating our customers with respect and integrity while offering all the services you need for your car. Most of all, at Express Oil Change and Tire Engineers, we believe in keeping cars on the road, keeping families safe, and keeping you coming back whenever the need arises. Papa John's Pizza is a proud sponsor of the Sanford Sports Network. CB along with you, Macy Marin, along with us as well. She'll be joining us Thursday for the Over the Mountain Rivalry. Sanford and UAB, you ready? Yes, I am ready. Very excited. And after this game, you can catch the Coca-Cola post-game show. We'll check in with all the games across the country with a Papa John scoreboard update and recap tonight's contest, run down the stats, and hear from head coach Mike Morris. That's all coming up on the Coca-Cola post-game show. Now the free throw line is Darby Maggard. 7.49 to go, and she hits. Maggard giving the Bruins a 62-41 lead. Kelsey or uh, Cassidy Blevins, Paige Serap, Katie Allen. Good look inside bullet pass 
finished by Cassidy Blevins. Blevins with four points. Good pass, Katie Allen. Maggard draws a whistle. Foul on Sarep. Sarep with her first collegiate points this evening. Drilled a three from the wing not too long ago. Belmont in front, 62-43. Down low, McCabe. McCabe banks it up and in. Sixty-four, forty-three. Belmont over Sanford, less than seven now. Six fifty-five to go, third quarter. Fitzgerald has the block. Fitzgerald a give and go with Syrup. Fitzgerald takes her man to the rack, shoots, blocked. Lauren Thompson, Maggard up court, McCabe finishes on the assist from Darby Maggard, who's played well. Timeout on the floor, called by Coach Mike Morris. 6.30 remaining, and Belmont running away. They lead 66-43. Kelsey Royalty back in our Homewood Studios. Kelsey, you have an update on that Papa John scoreboard for me. We sure do. This is the Papa John scoreboard. Today we have one main NCAA women's game going on. It's at Virginia Tech. Gardner-Webb falls, or trails to them, excuse me, 25 to 48 in the third quarter with three minutes and nine seconds left. Gardner Webb is three and three on the season, while Virginia Tech at number 25 overall it has a strong 7 and 0 record. Kurt? All right, uh, Kelsey, you're able to answer this, and Macy as well. Uh, do either of you know where, which state Gardner Webb is in? I don't Ooh, know. I believe. Hold on, we got an answer. Go ahead. We have an I don't know and. <laughs> I believe it's in North Carolina. You believe correct. It is in North Carolina. Now, prior to going to school in North Carolina, I couldn't tell you where it was. I thought it was next to Spiderweb. <laughs> I like that one. Thank you. I've got two shows at the Comedy Club downtown. All right, Sanford trailing 66-43. Gardner-Webb is in North Carolina. Olivia Crozier down low. Fitzgerald with the ball. Nothing there. Back to Fitzgerald. Baseline. Crozier. Ball fake. Pass to Syrup. 6.15 remaining. Eight to shoot. Blevins for Sanford. Blevins. Spin move. Shoots off the rim. Comes out. One on three on the rebound. So Belmont pulls it down. Maggard up court. Maggard gets it back. A give and go. And now Maggard under the instructions of Cameron Newbear, slows it down. 5.51 remaining, fourth quarter. Belmont in front, 66-43. Long three, McCabe at the top, no good. Rebound is for Crozier. Crozier with six boards in this game. She sets a pick for Cassidy Blevins. Katie Allen a three off the pick. Looks good and banks it home. Katie Allen with a long three. A bank shot. She hits her second three of the season. Sanford down by 20, 66-46. 5.15 remaining. Fourth quarter. Maggard gives up the dribble. Long three, Sierra Jones, top of the key. She hits. Once again, when... Sanford thinks about a run. Belmont sticks it back. 69-46, the Bruins in front. Olivia Crozier. Cassidy Blevins cut off defensively by Jones. Crozier gets it, a ball fake, hand off to Blevins. Blevins in the paint, shot, foul. Foul on Belmont. And that is on McCabe, her third. Free throw line for Cassidy Blevins. 61% free throw shooter. Hits the first of two. She has five points in the game. Averages 16. 
Cassidy Williams ready to check in. I think it's Cassidy for Cassidy. 440 remaining in the last quarter. The second free throw is good. A pair for Blevins, and Blevins will come out for C-Dub. Belmont in front, 434 remaining. 69-48, the Bruins in front. Sanford lost only twice at home last year. They have not lost at home this year. On the running layup, Sierra Jones is fouled. Jones, teammate of Lydia McGee, Kiki Fletcher, and Amara Mayers at Madison Academy. And she will go to the free throw line after a foul. First of two is off. Foul was on Williams. 5'9", junior. She had a concussion earlier. Second free throw is good. She was talking with Lydia McGee. And she said she's just about where she needs to be. Sharp to Crozier. Allen, Cassidy Williams, seat up. Paige Sharp, Katie Allen, good pass. She finds Williams who can't finish the layup. Good pass by Katie Allen. Maggard on the run. Top of the key, McCabe on the wing. They try to go down low. Crozier got her hand on it, or Fitzgerald did briefly. But it's back to Darby Maggard. Maggard a jump shot from the left side. No good. Rebound. It'll be a whistle. And over the top is Lauren Thompson. Thompson picks up her second. 3.42 to go. Second quarter, or fourth quarter, rather. Paige Serap on the wing, passes to Cassidy Williams. Over to Olivia Crozier. Crozier, hand off to Katie Allen. Allen jump shot above the free throw line. Yes, for Katie Allen. Five for Allen. Five foot 11 freshman from Albertville. Sanford down by 20, 3.15 remaining. Maggard on the wing. Kylie Smith runs, shoots, scores, and is fouled from behind. <laughs> Foul will be on Katie Allen. And Kylie Smith, three-point play, hits the free throw, 3.07 remaining. Thursday, Sanford against UAB, women's basketball, and then a break for finals here on campus. December 18th at Wake Forest and December 22nd at Athens. Paige Serap on the wing, Fitzgerald dumps it inside. Crozier makes a strong move, layup scores. Olivia Crozier, five points and a bunch of rebounds. Good game for Olivia Crozier, who sat out last year. Maggard tries a three, that will be off from the right corner. Fitzgerald with a rebound. Fitzgerald, Syrup, Syrup on the wing. And she will slow it down. For a set play, Allen goes inside off the hands of Crozier and picked up by Sierra Jones of Belmont. Belmont with the ball, now a travel by Jones. <laughs> Olivia Crozier, five points, six rebounds, 213 remaining. In the fourth quarter, Cameron Neubauer will take two of his starters out, bring two new ones in. Sanford at the 205 mark with the ball, trailing 73-52. Crozier again, handoff to Syrup. She'll try a long three just to the left of the center. No good, rebound. It'll be Belmont ball. Good battle by Katie Allen with Jenny Roy.
Paris Lawson, a 5'9 freshman. Knee brace on. Sierra Jones. And now a two from the top. No good. Rebound Cassidy Williams. Hand off to Paige Serup. 133 remaining. Allen. Fitzgerald and Williams. Williams. Williams drives hard. And she gets stripped as she was heading towards the goal. Two more Bruins coming in. Long lead pass for Samantha Fitzgerald. 118 to go. Belmont 73, Sanford 52. Pick set by Crozier. Williams off balance shot, no good. Shot clock e uh, expired. Belmont looking to improve to six and four. Sanford with a loss would drop to four wins, five losses. We have 60 seconds to go. Maddie Wright in the game. Sierra Jones long three from the top of the key, no good. Rebound Crozier. Paige Syrup, 44 seconds to go in the quarter and in the game. Belmont 73 to 52, baseline three, Fitzgerald hits. Fitzgerald with five uh, points in the game. That was a two, they'll call it a two. Sierra Jones at the top of the key, 20 seconds to go. Hannah Harmeyer, Frankie Jabron, handoff Sierra Jones with a whistle and a travel on Jones. Last 10 seconds of the game. We're at five, four, driving layup comes off and down goes Paige Syrup, who got clocked at the buzzer. And she is helped up, but that is uh, that's, that's the end of the game. That's how it, it went for Sanford. 73-54 as Belmont and Sanford their first loss here at home. We'll take a timeout. Post-game activities will begin. The Bruins over the Bulldogs, 73-54. That's now a final. 